Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I am Brian and next to me I've got a Goliath of a 12 volt refrigerator slash freezer that was sent over to the channel for me to do a review on by New Air. I'm just going to do a quick overview of this guy and show you guys how well this thing cools over a one or two day period because that's probably typically how long we're going to be using this cooler for if we take it out camping over the weekend. Now we've got record high temperature scheduled for this week here in North Texas so I'm going to keep this thing outside and plugged in and we're going to see how it goes. I'm even going to put in some Ziploc bags in the freezer portion of this thing and see if I can freeze them and keep them frozen during two days of 95 degree plus heat. So let's see if that works out. But just to start off with guys, as you can tell, this thing's pretty big. It's not your small little put in the back seat of your car type cooler. This is a rugged, heavy duty camping cooler slash freezer. That's important. Um, but just to kind of get started off with guys, you can probably see here, you know, it's got this removable, not, not removable, but it's got this extendable carry handle that really makes this thing a lot easier when you're trying to move it around. Um, this thing is pretty heavy when you fill it up with all your beer and, and food and whatnot. It's got pretty heavy duty rubber wheels here in the back. These are rubber. They're not plastic, so they, they are going to have a little bit better grip around the back here. And I've got this plugged in right now so I can show you the lights. But around here in the back, you do have a built in bottle opener, which is very important. The lid on this thing is actually re uh, re uh, reversible. So it can open this way or you can take it off completely, put it on this hinge and it'll open the other way. So that's pretty cool depending on your application of where you're gonna put this cooler, you're not limited to how the cooler door opens, okay? And this thing is powered by an LG compressor. It's not your no name aftermarket compressor. This is an actual LG compressor. So you know it's gonna last a lot longer than your $150 12 volt coolers. So let me open this up and kind of show you guys or try to, this thing's so big. It does have two LED lights. It's got one back here on that side and it's got one over here on this side. So at night when you do open it up, both of these compartments are lit up. Now, speaking of both of these compartments, the difference is with this cooler versus all of the other, other ones that I have is that these are actually dual climate. What I mean by that is you can set the temperature individually for the refrigerator component, which is 34 quarts, and you can set the temperature differently for the freezer component, which is 14 quarts. So you can set the smaller portion of the cooler up here for say negative two this thing goes all the way down to negative four and all the way up to 68 degrees so you got a pretty big range of temperatures that you can set each of these individual compartments to so I do have a couple of coolers that have dual zone um, but what typically they state is that you, you only have one temperature zone that you can set, which is your bigger compartment. And then the smaller compartment next to it is typically a couple of degrees higher that you'll use for your refrigerator style stuff. This actually has two different zones and we're gonna test that out here today and tomorrow. I'm gonna try to freeze some water on that side. Up here in the lid, you can see we've got an integrated cutting board, which, you know, that's kind of cool. I don't know how often I would actually use that, but it does have a cutting board built into it you've got a nice gasket all around the side so this thing will seal it is refrigerator grade freezer grade gasket material that will seal all, all around the side when you close it you've got three battery protection modes on this which isn't abnormal for any of these coolers and I'll post a screenshot now and you can see here you've got the three different battery protection modes with the three different voltages that once it gets to that voltage, this cooler will shut down to protect your battery. So this thing comes with a 12 volt standard DC charger plugged into your cigarette lighter, or it comes with this power brick, which I have plugged in right now. And that goes straight into your home AC outlet. Carry handle on here on the back. The dimensions on this guy, 37 inches, not counting the handle, 37 inches wide, 58 inches tall. From the, from the bottom of the wheels up to the top is 58 inches and it's 18 inches deep. So it's not a small cooler. Again, you're not gonna be putting this in the back of your Honda Civic, I don't think. I mean, obviously it would fit, but you're not gonna have a lot of room around the vents for it to breathe very well, but you could get it done, okay? So this thing weighs 49 pounds dry. So you, you, you know, 
you start putting food and beverages and ice if you need to in here it's gonna get it's gonna get a little heavy but that's where this handle really comes into play now I use this yesterday at a birthday party outside all day long and here's just a quick 15 20 second clip of me setting this up and then checking it when we were done and remember this was out in 95 plus degree heat all day long all right guys we're going to be using this cooler to the test today uh we got a kid's birthday party and it is going to be about 95 degrees outside today i'm putting in warm water Well, here we're working with. Let's close this lid. Well, guys, the party's over, and it was unbearably hot today here. And when I say that, I literally mean that. It was record-breaking heat. It was like 94 degrees for this time of year. And I left the cooler out here all day in this weather. And let's see what we've got here. 30 degrees that is that's pretty amazing it set out here all day for probably a good six to seven hours baking in the sun for me to come out and check it to be 30 degrees is pretty impressive so back to the show okay guys so that's basically it you know i don't, I don't think i really showcased the screen but th these screens are really hard to show on these cameras because they just blink and flash and do crazy things but you do have your your led screen information button buttons all up on this side and that's where you're going to set your battery protection modes your max or economy modes your three different battery level protection modes your dual temperature zones that's where all the magic happens is right up here on this screen with these buttons okay so overall the build quality on this thing is i mean this thing is a rock there it doesn't bend anywhere you know it doesn't twist you can tell this thing is heavy duty and it does come with wire baskets for both refrigerator and freezer portion um, again this thing is just built like a tank um, i anticipate this thing lasting a pretty good while uh, it's it's definitely built a little different than most of my other coolers now I got to preface that by saying you're paying for this build right now this is around 500 bucks new Air did give me a coupon that I'm gonna be able to put at the end of this video for you guys if you're interested now this is really gonna come into play if you're if you're thinking about buying like a Yeti or another expensive cooler you're already in the market and you're already willing to spend that type of money um, this is a good good option to look at um, if you want to this type of 12 volt fridge freezer option so I know it's not chump change um, it's it's a lot of money new wear was kind enough to send that to me and I told him I would do it if I could give you guys a some some type of coupon code because 500 bucks is a lot of money for anyone for any time especially right now so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna take this out to my backyard I am going to put some drinks in here in the refrigerator side I'm gonna put some Ziploc bags filled with water in the freezer side and I'm gonna see if a I can get those freezer bags to freeze and B get the drinks cold obviously and I'm gonna let this thing sit outside for two days now again we have record high temperature scheduled for North Texas this week today's getting up to 95 to 96 degrees tomorrow 93 to 94 degrees and in Texas we have humidity that you can see it's 120 percent humidity uh, not really but the humidity is extremely high so it's not a dry heat it is hot down here so let's take it outside and get started with this little test okay let's start this test it is 9 25 in the morning outside temperature right now okay and let's just start filling up this this cooler it is plugged in so let's fill this up with a 12 pack of sodas here is three bags of water I'm gonna put it in the freezer side and see if we can get these things to freeze. Okay. And I'm also gonna put thermometers in each section of the cooler. Close that down. I am going to set the temperature on the refrigerator side where the sodas are at to 34 degrees. I'm going to set the, the freezer side to 
four degrees. So I am on max mode because I am plugged into my house electricity. The battery protection mode is on high. Everything's set. So I'm gonna come back here and check probably around noon, show you guys the temperature inside both compartments, temperature outside, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, first test. It is 105 p.m. Almost 88 degrees outside. And let's open this up, see what we got. And it's right at about 38. Now let's check the freezer section. And we are at about 19 degrees. And that went up quickly as soon as I pulled it out. Oh, and there's a little bit of ice in here. It's not frozen yet, but there's definitely some ice in there. Huh, cool. Okay guys, it is 413. Outside temperature is 94 degrees. So I'm gonna pull out this thermometer. I'm gonna pull it out as quickly as I can, but it's so humid out here. You know, as soon as I pull it out, it fogs up, but we'll try our best. at 34 degrees. Awesome. Okay. And we were at about six or seven, but it's already climbing. <laughs> so, and check that out. We're getting more ice now. That is crazy. One last test I want to show you guys. 104 degrees on the top, right in the middle. 97. Let's do one more on top, make things honest. 106.2 degrees. Wow. Last check in for the night. We're looking at uh, right around 8 o'clock, and the outside temp, 86 degrees, almost 87. Right around 37, 36 degrees for that, and the freezer side, we're Right around 10 degrees. But let me show you. <laughs> we have, we're starting to get, all three of these bags are starting to, ha to have ice in them. There's one, there's another bag. There's another one. All right, so I'm gonna button this thing back up, let it sit overnight. And I will check in in the morning, probably around 8 a.m. All right, guys, it is now almost 9 a.m., 8.50. We're looking at approximately 79 degrees outside. Let's check out the inside and see what we got going on. Over here in the main cooler. Right at 37 degrees. I hope you can get that quickly before it goes up. And the freezer, well, that's frozen over. Oh, but it is right at about 8 degrees. All three of these guys are frozen solid. Now, my cans aren't frozen, which is good. They didn't explode. So, Okay, check in day two, looking at 2.30, looking at 88 degrees, and check the cooler, 38 degrees, and the freezer, right at 10. kind of frozen. I know it's really hard to see, but 
there's frost on this lens. So, guys, and, you know, ice is frozen. So this is getting kind of repetitive. Cooler works. So I'm going to take this in the garage and we'll do a final rundown over this new air fridge freezer. Okay guys, well that is going to wrap up this little unscientific test of this new air 48 quart cooler. I will say for the amount of heat that this thing endured outside on the patio for about 30 hours in this, it was Texas heat. It was 95 to 96 degrees outside and humidity around 70%. So it's, it's uncomfortably hot outside right now and for this thing to, to freeze three bags of ice and keep 12 cans cooled at around 35 degrees, it's pretty amazing. It worked very well. Overall, again, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with the capability and how this cooler handled being out there on the patio in this heat. It wasn't out there for a full two days, but the, the testing just was getting a little uh, monotonous and the same thing over and over again. I didn't want to drag it out any longer because I was getting the same results every time I went out there. So to wrap this thing up, this cooler works. It works well. It keeps things cold and it could have kept things even colder if I would have put the temperature down even lower, but I didn't want to freeze my sodas and have them explode in this cooler and create all kinds of a mess. So um, I can put my seal of approval on this thing. Now I want to also emphasize that New Air is not paying me at all for this video. They sent me the cooler, but they're not paying me a dime for this review. Um, they did send me a coupon code and I will put it in the description below and the website if you're interested at all in this cooler. Um, the, the website will be below along with the coupon code that you guys can use for 10% off the purchase of this thing. So in the end, it performed very well and I'm pretty happy with it. So guys, I hope that was useful at all. And uh, until then, take care. We'll see you next time.